Oh, hello. hello. Hi. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes. Can you see me? Yes. Yes. Great. Oh, thank you for having a class with me early than our schedule. Okay. Yes. And by the way, what time do you usually go to bed? Um, I usually go to bed 10 o'clock. Oh, so after the class, you will go to sleep. Am I right? Yes. Oh, okay. So which one do you prefer? Having an early class? or just follow the schedule which one do you prefer do you like more mm, yes oh i am uh i want you to pick the time that you prefer more or most okay so maybe next time i will talk about it okay so we haven't finished we haven't finished our previous lesson, so we will continue that one. And it's about things and people we can see at the hospital. Let's go. So we are already unit in at unit 18. We're done with this last time. So let's skip on it. And let's go to the next page. Okay. Here you go. Please wait. Okay. Choose the best words and complete the sentences. Look at number one. For number one, these are your choices. For number two, okay. These are for number two and number three. <laughs> okay. Would you like to try and fill in the blanks in number one? Sometimes. Sometimes we use a nice um, hot, well, or cold. You seem happy. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, uh huh. When you are not. Are not mm, cold, and your body is well. You have a temperature. So when you're well, you have a temperature. Mm. Uh huh. Would you like to try again? Yes. Sometimes when you are not. Um. When you are not, mm, when you are not well, yes, and is equal, you uh -huh. ask, uh, you have temperature. temperature. Uh -huh. Okay, <laughs> so can you think of another word that means mm. temperature? When you feel hot, you've got. Your body is hot. Yes. When you've got a temperature, you feel hot. Or your body is hot, but you feel cold, right? So you have a fever. Mm -hmm. Another word for temperature is fever. <laughs> have you ever gotten a fever? No. Oh. All of your life, you haven't got a fever? No. <laughs> you must have been sick um, for quite some time, right? <laughs> okay. And so we are in number two. Please read and complete number two. Mm, number two. When your mom has a best headache, mm -hmm. mm, it's a good idea to be very uh -huh. tired at home. Mm -hmm. 
So mom is sick, so you must be quiet. Can you repeat this one? Good. With a D. Good. Let me hear you say good. With a D. Can you say it? Mm, yes. Good. Say good. Say good. Good. With a D. Okay. Good. Yes. Okay. Better. Number three, please. Number three. Mm, be careful. Mm -hmm. Be careful when you use your, your hungry. Mm -hmm. Why should Can we be careful? Mm -hmm. Continue. What happened to Tony? Tony is prize chocolate ice creams on Sundays and then he has a terrible stomach ache. Ache. It's like a K. Ache. Ache. Okay, there you go. So look at the choices again. What are the three wrong words? Look at the choices again. Mm -hmm. What are the three wrong words? The one you didn't pick. Okay, my turn. Look at the first set. So it, the first one is cold. Cold is the wrong word. Your turn. Which one is the wrong word in number two? Wrong word in number two is tired. Yes. And in number three... In number three, number three is the wrong box. Is word dirty. is dirty. dirty. Yes. Okay. Number two, what can you do when you're cold? You can't find the answer in the in the PPT. Think. What do you do when you feel cold? Mm, I feel tired. Oh, what do you do? What can you mm. do so you won't feel cold anymore? When do you feel cold? When? Mm. Mm -hmm. When I have mm, fever. Oh, you feel cold when you have a fever. So how can you make yourself feel better? What will you do? So you won't feel cold anymore. Do you wear something warm? Do you drink something hot? I wear, I wear warm clothes. Oh, you wear just one clothes. Uh huh. What kind of clothes? Mm, jacket. Okay. Sweater. sweater. How about something to drink? Mm. Warm waters and yes, mm -hmm. uh huh. A warm or a hot drink, maybe a hot chocolate, coffee, tea. Mm -hmm. 
your preference. Okay, number three. What's a good thing to do when you're tired? Um, when you feel tired, you... When I'm tired, I... Mm -hmm. mm. What do you like to do when you're tired? I... It's up to you. What do you do when you're tired? I take a rest. Yes, you take a rest. And sometimes you can sleep too. Okay, take a rest. <laughs> Good job. Number four, what can you do when your hands are dirty? Mm. I can wash my hands when my hands are dirty. Yes, you can wash your hands when they are dirty. There you go, wash them. Next. Look and read. Right, or oh, maybe later. Let's talk about the picture. Where are these people? What do you think? Mm -hmm. Where are they? They are. Are they at school? Are they no. at home? At, um, uh -huh. at hospital. At a hospital. How did you know? What can you see? I can see a doctor. Okay. So, and a doctor works in the hospital. So they are at the hospital. Number two, how many doctors can you see? Mm, I can see one doctor. Uh huh. Where is it? Can you encircle it? No. No? So how did you know there's one doctor? Which one is it then? <laughs> okay, I will tell you, there are two. Can you find them? Yes. Yes, please. Yes, one. Uh-huh, is that a doctor? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think the man is a doctor, but the woman, I'm not sure about that because she's wearing... A nurse cap. So I think she's a nurse. <laughs> Another doctor is next to a nurse. Another doctor is standing next to a nurse. Yes. Which one? Uh, it's next to that nurse. She's a nurse, so the doctor is next to him, to her. Where is he? <laughs> this. So there are two doctors. Next. Oh, who's that? Is that a doctor? <laughs> okay, next. How many nurses can you see? I can see... Two nurses. Okay, would you like to encircle them so we will know which one they are? Which one are they? You're right, there are two. Where are they? Mm. Can you encircle them? Yes, those are the two nurses. Next, how many people are sitting down? How many mm. people are sitting down? Uh, 
I can see six people are sitting down. Yes, okay. <laughs> Next task. Okay, let, let me remove our drawings. Okay, and now look at the picture. Read the sentence and write yes if it's true, no if it's false or incorrect. I will read the example. The room where the people are waiting is busy. Is the room busy? Yes. Yes, because there are lots of people. Lots of people. Yes, your turn. Please read number one. Number one, the doctor who's in looking at the baby has lost curly hair. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh huh. Okay, you're right. Yes. Now let's try reading it slowly. Doctor. Doctor. Mm, doctor. Yes, got. Got. Yes, okay. Number two, my turn. The plant that the boy is holding is very big. Yes or no? No. No. Where's the boy? What's wrong in number two then? Number two, the plant that the boy is holding is very big, is strong, and the plant that the boy is holding is very is big. I'm sorry, is small. Is small. Is oh, yes. Okay. So when you read. Slow down so you can read the words properly. Okay, just slow down. Uh huh. Look at me. The plant that the boy is holding is very big. So read the words carefully. Okay. <laughs> Number three, your turn. Number three. The nurse who is wearing glasses is talking to the doctor. Mm -hmm. mm. No. No. And uh, what's wrong in number three? Who, who is she talking to? So I think this is the nurse wearing glasses. Who is she talking to? Hello, Nam, you're not moving. Hello. Hello.
I'm we'll sorry, teacher. Uh-huh, it's okay. Do you have a weak internet? Mm, yes. Mm, okay, so tell me, who is the nurse talking to? Whom is the nurse talking to? Mm. We are in number three, okay? Yes. Aha. Uh -huh. The nurse who's wearing glasses is talking to talking to I think she's talking to her. To what is she? Yes. Mm, a man. Mm. Uh, mm -hmm. again. A patient, maybe, or the girl. She's talking to the girl on the wheelchair or patient. Uh -huh. Okay, number four. The seat, which is between the boy and the baby, has a bag on it. Yes or no? Yes. Yes. Okay. Uh, what color is the bag? What color is the bag? I think it's yellow. Yellow? You sure? Does it have color? Does it have a color? No. No. <laughs> I'm just I joking. Colors in white. Uh huh. It's got no color. Okay, number five. Your turn. Mm. Number five. You can see the face of everyone who is in this room. Mm -hmm. Can you? No. No. Whose faces can't you see? Whose faces? Mm -hmm. Whose faces can't we see in the picture? Mm -hmm. Uh huh. You said we can't see all of them. Whose face can't we see? Mm, I can see a doctor and nurse faces. Okay, there you go. Next. Oh, how to use or when to use who, where, or that. Remember, we use who when we are referring to people, to a person. Next. We use where if it's a place, a name of place. We use that when it's an object, a thing, or an animal. Okay, let's try it. Look at number six. The man, the man who. Yes, who? Because we are... On phones, is sitting down. Yes, because who are we talking about in this sentence? It's about the... Man. Man. So we use who. Number seven. Number seven. The comics. Mm, when the gun has got its hands it open. Mm hmm a comic, is this a place? Mm. Is this a place, a name of place? Comic just the girl. That, because comic is a thing. It's an object. Yes. Okay. Number eight, please. Is the place where you can 
My coffee is closed. It's closed. Okay. So I think you already understand when to use who, where, or that. Those are called relative pronouns because you relate them to the subject mentioned before them, like the man, comic, or the place. Next. Uh -huh. Listen the following instructions and color and draw. Since I think you're not really into drawing, but instead I want you to encircle the mentioned object and tell me what or which color. Okay. Now listen. Number one. Can you see the big plant in the picture? Color that plant brown. Go. Tell me if you want to listen again. Okay. Okay. Yes. Brown. <laughs> okay. Number two. Now find the bag, the one that's on the floor. Color that bag pink. Go, 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 go. Uh-huh. Do you want to listen again? Hi. <laughs> okay. You picked the wrong bag. Yes, that's it. It's on the floor. Number three. That nurse is helping the girl who hurt her leg. Can you see her, the nurse's hat? Color her hat blue. Do you want to listen again? No. No. Okay. Find it. Yes, so which one are we going gonna color? The clothes? The clothes mm -hmm. is blue. Is it the clothes, the hat? Which one? The hat. The is hat. Blue. Yes. Next, number four. I'd like you to draw something now. Draw a big flower on the wall next to the door. A big flower next to the door. Mm. Uh -huh, go on. Yes, that will do. <laughs> Why did you erase it? Try it one more time. Uh huh. Okay. Remember, you can use other like this. Mm. Look, there are there are uh -huh, like this one's drawings. Mm -hmm. You can pick that one. Then make a flower. You see, it looks better. Oh, okay. You found it. It's next to the door. Okay, let's get to the next one. Mm -hmm. There you go. Those are the answers. Okay. Play the game. Find the silent letters. What are silent letters? Silent letters are the letters we don't read in the word. Again, silent letters are the words we don't read in a single word. Look at the example. Read after me. Temperature. Your turn. Mm. Read, please. Repeat after me. Mm. Temperature. Uh-huh. 
Oh, first tell me, what is the silent letter? Mm -hmm. Oh, we're still in the example. <laughs> what is the silent letter in the word temperature? Here, it's the letter, which one? Uh-huh. Can you hear me, Nam? Yes. Yes. We are still in the word temperature. What is the silent letter in this word? Meetings. Between stems and rotors. Yes, e. e. So we don't say it. Remember that. We don't read it. Now your turn. Read the word temperature. Can you say it? Temperature. Mm, temperature. Yes. Remember that. Do not read the word E. We don't say temperature Ding! that's wrong we don't say the e temperature next read the word first uh-huh can you read it first let me hear you read it Stomach. Stomach. With a K. Stomach. So which, Stomach. which letter is the silent one? Uh -huh. Listen. Stomach. Which letter don't we read? It's silent. Yes. <laughs> you found it. H. Stomach. We don't read the H. We don't say stomach. Uh, uh, uh. It's stomach. Third word. Please read number three. Talk. Talk. So what is the silent letter? L. Yes. L talk. Okay. We're doing it. We're doing it. Number four. Friends. Friends. What is I. the time? Yes. Friends. Ooh, we know now. Next. Head. Head. What is the silent letter? Head. Um. What e. is it? Uh -huh. Say it again. Head. Head. Uh huh. I. A. Head. Okay, so those are the silent letters. Okay, so we're done with this lesson. Let's go to the next one. Let me open it and please wait as I do. Okay. So this is still about health. What's the matter? So we will learn here how to describe how you feel. Do you feel pain? Are you hurt? How to describe those feelings? Let's begin. What's the matter? Okay. Look at that. What's the matter? What has he got? Mm, he has he has a tooth. He has a toothache. Why? How can we get a toothache? Because he is he eats a lot of sweets. 
he oh, ate. he ate. Okay, very good. He ate a lot of sweets and then he didn't. He didn't. <laughs> He didn't eat, eat a lot of sweet. Oh, okay. And maybe he forgot to brush his teeth after eating sweets. Okay. Next, number two. What happened to the man? The man has a ear ache. Ear ache. Okay. So when there's pain on your tooth, Toothache. When there's pain on your ear, ear ache. Okay. Next, number three. Mm, temperature. Temperature. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Again, again. Do you do you remember the silent letter? Mm. Silent letter. Temperature. 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 Okay. Uh huh. So he's got temperature. How does he feel? He feel. He feels. Tired and tired. hot. Yes. And temperature can also be called fever. Okay. Fever. Okay. Picture number four. What's the matter? Number four, he has a hurt. Oh, he got hurt. He, he got, got hurt. hurt. What? Where? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Which part of the body was he hurt? A leg. Yes. So, if he hurt his leg, what could have happened? What could have happened? Why mm. is his leg hurting? Please. Maybe because. Because he rides he rides by too fast. Oh, and then he fell. Oh no. Oh. Yes. So you see the difference? Hurt is when maybe you got into an accident, while ache is a minor illness. It's an illness. Hurt could be an accident. Okay, next. Ooh, look at the boy. What's the matter? Mm, he has... He's um, got... Cough. Cough. How do you cough? Can you do it? Can you show me how to cough? Oh, I think that's not cough. <laughs> okay. How do you cough? Can you let me hear you cough? Mm -hmm. How does cough look like? Like this. <coughs> That's cough. Okay. Uh huh. That's cough. Number two. What's the Number matter? Two, he has a sneezy. Oh, um, this is an a verb. This is a verb. Okay, not an adjective. So we can say. She is sneezing. She is sneezing. Uh-huh. What's the difference between cough and sneeze? How do we sneeze? Can you give a sample? How do you sneeze? Mm. Do you know? Because... Mm. No. No, like this. Hachoo! Hachoo. So, when do we sneeze? Mm. When do we sneeze? Mm. Hachoo. Hachoo. 
Running nose. Okay, a running nose. <laughs> okay, number three. Number three, stomach ache. Oh no, when can we get a stomach ache? Stomach ache. Mm -hmm. When can we get a stomach ache? Mm. When you... Oh. oh no. When you eat, when you eat, mm. A lot, a lot of food. Yes. Yes, you can get a stomach ache. Or maybe if you didn't eat, if you didn't eat, you will also get a stomach ache. Okay, number yeah. four. What's the number motto? Four, back hurt. Back ache. Back, back ache. Up. Yes. Back. On the back. So it's a pain, the pain on your back, back ache. The pain on the stomach, stomach ache. Okay, let's go to the next one. Look at the sentences. They are missing the letters E, I, O, and U. Would you like to try and put on the missing letters? I'll give you a clue. I've got... I've got. Okay. Stomach okay. Stomach ache. Because, Ooh. Because it's, oh, sorry. Sorry. Because. Because it. Mm. Uh huh. Oh, you missed another blank because. I've got a stomach mm -hmm. ache because who's got a stomach ache? Ah, because I can't okay, keep going. Mm. Had reach. hundreds. <laughs> uh huh, hundreds. Okay. Okay, what did you eat? Uh, chips. Chips? Where? At school today. Okay. <laughs> Number two. Mm -hmm. Number two. We walk. We walk. Unless uh. uh, just that I. <laughs> What's the missing letter? Here, okay. We walked a, a, lot. a lot. A lot. When? Yesterday. Yesterday, and and now. Mm -hmm. E I O U, both. Okay. Both my foot. Uh huh. Both my. It means there are two. Foot. Uh huh. One foot. Feet. How about feet? <laughs> Why are you shouting? <laughs> feet. Uh huh. What's the matter? Mm, hurt. Hurt. Okay. <laughs> Number three. Uh huh. Uh huh. Once my cousins oh. and. Mm. Who else? My cousin and and I went. I went. Went skating. Skating. When was it? Last week. Last week. Okay. What happened last week? Mm, I host my hands and and I host my hands and. Mm, uh huh. E I O U. He hurt his. He hurt his. Mm -hmm. his mm. It's up to you what to what hurt, what was hurt. Hurt mm. what? 
feet. Hurt his feet. Aha, feet. Uh -huh. feet or foot. Okay. So here are the answers. Let me show them to you. Oh. Please wait. There you go. Uh -huh. It can be foot, feet, leg, or arm. Okay. <laughs> you found them. Okay. So we don't need to read them. Did you know when to use hurt or ache? Mm -hmm. So hurt. Uh-huh. We can use hurt and an ache when we are talking about the stomach. My stomach hurts. Or I got a stomach ache. Can be. Both of them can be used. What else? We can use hurt for any part of our body. My eye is hurt. My ear is hurt. My foot is hurt. How about ache? Mm -hmm. Where can we use ache? Your turn. Mm. Which parts of our body can we use the word ache? My stomach. Mm. Yes, yes. That's one. Stomach My ache. Stomach. My stomach was I lost a stomach hurt. Okay. Ache. Stomach. Stomach ache. We can use ache there. What else? Which part of the body can we use the word ache to describe pain? This one? Uh huh. So put my, them together. My my teeth hurts. I lost a tooth. Oh, and when we are talking about tooth or teeth, we use ache. Okay. Look, we use ache with only a few parts of the body. So when we are talking about tooth, head stomach, back, and ear, we use ache. And for the rest of the body, like feet, leg, arm, we use hurt. Okay. Any question, questions, Nam? No. No. Okay. So we're already done. Let's have a review. What have we learned today? how to use hurt and ache, how to describe how you feel when you're sick. I've got a temperature. What's this? Yeah. Achoo. Sneeze. <coughs> Cough. Yes, you do remember. How about these? Mm, two times. Toothache! So you do remember. So we learned how to describe what's the matter and what's wrong with the body. So you can tell them to someone else in English. Okay, so after the class or maybe tomorrow, later tonight, I will send you your homework. Okay, so do you have any questions about the lesson now? No. No. Where's your cousin? Uh -huh. He's gone? He went home? Mm, yes. Oh, okay. Okay. Have a nice night ahead. Bye-bye. Bye, teacher. -bye. <laughs> Thank you.